Uh, they finally got coal out of the Adani coal mine today. We learnt uh, this via the company who told us that, yep, they have now uh, hit the black gold. Sorry, lefties. Darren Chester is in the full sook. Now, this is a bloke who is very well loved by the media, hates Barnaby Joyce, and, of course, was booted as the Veterans Affairs Minister. That is a good decision because it is time for a clean slate. We'll talk to Heston Russell about that in the lead-up to the Royal Commission. But Darren Chester, well, he decided to uh, give Barnaby Joyce both barrels about why he thinks he's not the right bloke to be the leader of the Nationals and the Deputy Prime Minister. But I've got to say, the conversation I had with Barnaby was so incoherent yesterday, I couldn't actually explain what he's even saying to me. So, um, pe people of Australia, <laughs> brace yourself, there'll be more conversations like that. But, no, we didn't have harsh words at all. It was just a matter of fact conversation. Uh, he was sacking me, I didn't agree with him, and uh, I got on with the walk I was having with my dog. Now, Darren Chester is very well loved by the media. He spends, uh, well, when he was a backbencher, almost as much time in the press gallery as he did his own office. So, just like... You don't have to be the world's greatest detective to work out that the ghost is behind so many stories that are anti-government. You won't have to send out a search party to work out who is the secret MP who may have the odd criticism about where the National Party might be heading. I mean, just putting it out there, of course, Darren. Feel free to prove me wrong.